Township Supreme Friendship Supreme Finding the geek within Hey everybody, my name's Michael. My name's Cleve. And welcome back to another exciting episode of Friendship. Supreme. We used to have a third person. <laughs> what the fuck uh, is she? Uh, anyways, we're the podcast that dares to ask. Uh, do we put actors, do we put celebrities on a pedestal after uh, post-mortem? Is that a thing? I'm sure, right? Like, you always find you always find a fan of someone after someone passes. Yeah, like uh, you know, I just yeah, you know, we let things slide after they've passed. Uh, Anyways, perhaps. today we're talking about Norm Macdonald dying. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> Michael and I have said very clearly that we will not speak ill of the dead. Uh, and I, I've struggled trying to come up with some things to talk about for this episode because I have enjoyed norms in things like it's not like i was following his career super closely but i mean he had a show that went like 50 episodes so they did something yeah i mean he's he's had movies where he started and he's had movies where he just appeared and uh voiceover works and stuff but he is kind of a jerk he played Lucky and the Dog in like six dude level movies. So, I mean, that's he was a that fucking, fucking pigeon. He just kept was, coming back. What was the pigeon's name in the like Tyson cartoon? Pigeon. Pigeon. There we go. He yeah, was pretty pigeon. confident. It was just pigeon. Yeah. Um, but he, yeah, man, he was like the. He, here's the thing. I feel like comedians always have this like, oh, it's too. Where's the line? on it being funny and it being edgy and whatnot. And he didn't care about that line at all. Like if it was kind of funny, well, he went for it. No. I, who what was his name? Um, now that I think about it, he does kind of remind me of, it's the guy that Jim Carrey played in man on the moon. Andy. Yes. The, it, very much that like, I agree that like it was odd. A lot of his comedy, and in fact, we in prepping for this episode to talk about it, we you had even said like there's a lot of times where he would tell a joke and just sit there in silence until something happened. And you know what's and funny just, is like he's the only person I feel like that can get away with that, where he would just he would tell a joke and just sit in it, and people yeah. would just start laughing eventually. Which, I mean, that's also part of the what makes it funny not necessarily the joke he told but the way he'll just like sit there and stare at you after he's told it i had a friend that reminds me of him all the time i don't i don't talk to the guy anymore i actually kind of miss talking to the guy but his name was joe but we all called him gnome for years okay but he does the same thing where he would say something just fucking sit there and stare at you until like you you had you know what it was it was like dad jokes yeah, like, like not dad jokes, but, but a dad, dad telling a joke. It was it was like mm, passive aggressively racist dad jokes, like that shitty joke dad go, that you're like, uh, please don't say anything, dad. He would tell a joke and go, eh, and got a nudge in. You're like, yeah. all right, yeah, yeah. I laughed. Um, so he did some stuff. He was in SNL. He did. He he was. Um, I don't think he lasted uh, we, long we in get, SNL. We can updates. I feel like he was there for a while. Was he? Let's, let's take a look at the old. Well, IMDb. I mean, you know, there's some people that are there for life. Word, word, and word. Some people that you know touch it and then go. What's funny is they let him go because they didn't think he was funny enough, and then they let him host. And he made sure to point that out in the the monologue. He was like, "I wasn't funny enough to be on the show anymore," but. Here I am. The only movie um, I remembered him from, like starring in, was Dirty Work. And again, the only thing I can remember about this film is that, like, you paid these two guys who were grimy individuals to get revenge on people. And I remember a scene in which they threw fish in a air conditioning unit. 
and they used the song Dirty Deeds by ACDC. I was 12, I think, when I saw that movie. And it Big resonated fan. much more then than it does now. I'm taking my camera. Um, I'm trying to find. It looks like he was on there 1985. I'm trying to find the year he like left. Uh, yeah, so Dirty Deeds, that is, that is one. I remember him more from the movie Screwed with him and Dave Chappelle where I would have to look up what that movie's even what? about. <laughs> it's like he faked his own kidnapping. Let's see. Why Why do I feel like his shit's not in order? In the, why, why does IMDb only go to 1993? It's like IMDb slipping here. I don't, I don't know, man. I... If you go to YouTube and look up his page, uh, or look. like look him up, it's a lot of like. Do you see stuff? Norm Macdonald shitting on female comedians for twelve minutes and things like that. Uh, by the way, screwed. A chauffeur kidnaps his rich boss's dog to hold it for ransom, but when she accidentally gets the dog back, she thinks that it's the chauffeur who's been kidnapped. Hmm. So 1993 to 1997 for you. <laughs> it does. It, it, it reminds me a lot because, yeah, he had to then start faking his own. And I just remember uh, he was in like a dog cage and he was like, they're, they're, they're feeding me like they're barely feeding me. And Dish goes, dinner time, dog, and throws food at him. <laughs> He's like, they've got me eating kibble. That's all I remember. And never just a black man named Chip those two things yeah but i mean like he would do things super passive aggressive he would do things like oh you know, w- women are funny right you think so you think women are funny um wh- what women from what women writers do you know from Saturday Night live it's like uh fucking i guess anytime you ask someone a question like that off the top of their head or he's like who the funniest people in Saturday Night live oh you're not mentioning any women why aren't you mentioning any women like i I don't know, man. And I like racy he, jokes too. He was really like your, you know, that uh, white grandpa that you bring to a party and you know he's what? gonna say something, and you're like, "Fuck!" Just you know, you're hoping you can damage control that shit. He was on. I listened to a clip of him being on some radio talk show, and he was like, "He had, was he it had a- his own, didn't he?" I think he did. Norm Live or something like that. Yeah, he was like, "Does um is the neighborhood good?" And they were like, "What does that mean?" He was like, "Well, because if it's uh basically the line he drew without you know taking too out of context was bad neighborhood equals poor people, poor people equals black people, black people equal dangerous." And I'm like, <laughs> "How do you?" Think? And he was like, "Well, you know," and then he he would turn it to like, "Well, black people are usually." poor than white people and i'm like well uh, and he's like well white people make more money and i'm like you're this line is so blurred that you're telling me i it's hard to fight for you and what you're saying <laughs> when you say it like this i do want to point out when cleve suggested this uh episode he did everything he could to like be positive about it he was talking about how much like, you remember he was funny and stuff, and then Cleve had to do research on it. <laughs> you remember he was like, funny and stuff? Shit. <laughs> well, you know what? When you go to YouTube and you just search Norm McDonald, and again, the first couple of videos are not like it's like <laughs> celebrities reacting to his death, and then like you know, uh, talking shit about uh, Sarah Silverman, who he says he likes. He's like, Oh, you know, Sarah Silverman, uh, she's funny, she's really funny, not like a guy funny, but like. You know, she's funny. Or she's funny because she tells jokes like a guy. And, like... It's like when Howard Stern dies. You're going to be really, really stretching to find things that you're like, man, he was good. I guess I want to... I'll never know what he really thought. And was he just trying to fuck with people? Or if he really meant anything he said? There's going to be a little truth behind his jokes, right? Because there always is a little truth behind the jokes. But... 
What, did you? No, absolutely. Like, oh, right. Most of that stuff seeded in some sort of form of truth, don't you? Or it was like he would say what he could to make the moment awkward on purpose. And so it's like, okay, well, is that that is a style of comedy, I guess. That doesn't necessarily mean he well look at um like Tom Green's whole career. Fuck Tom Green. <laughs> Just making people feel awkward about the shit going on. What made that funny is we get to watch other people have to deal with it. Like Andy Dick does that most of the time too. Yeah. And current Polly Shore. Not an old Polly Shore. Current. No, who knows what old Polly Shore was doing? Yeah, it's a lot. It's just a lot, you guys. Um no, I, I think. The, the reason that was the question I had for you in this, the beginning is I think that that's something that, you know, we've talked about even with when DMX passed, like we made sure not to 100% pass on the fact that there are things that happened that he was accused of and had done right. and sucked. And so like a lot of times when people pass, like we tend to just forget the bad, even in our personal lives. And, I, and you, it's probably you good. You tend to, to try to like, said. yeah, you tend to try to like, like, oh, I remember when he did this. Like, I think um, when he played in the Jeopardy skit for Saturday Night Live, mm-hmm. I can watch that skit 800 times over. But like, I don't want to talk about women comedians. Yeah. Several clips I watched, she was like, Tina Fey's good. And that was just like the best that it got. That was the nicest he was. Yeah, I mean, you know, you have, you know, your R. Kelly's of the world. They produce some some good things, and then they also peed on children. So and well, you know what? Norm didn't say anything to make me go, I can never enjoy any of his comedy again. So I guess he did he's doing better than R. Kelly. Uh, Is that the bar? Is that yeah, the bar we're at? That's one one thousand percent that's the bar. That's makes that bones me out. <laughs> Did someone at some point say something so in, in, aggravating that you're like dead to me? I guess, you know, in my head, I think people that spent time with him are really bummed. So that has to be more positive than negative. Right? Right? If R. Kelly died, I don't know who's like, poor one out. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to use Hitler as an example. A lot of like, somebody that like, one like, <laughs> DJs in the 2000s I'd be really bummed. Mm. Name one? Just anybody that can't play Ignition ever again. Mm. Yeah, he really messed up a lot of playlists. <laughs> anyway, that's not what this is about. Um, he, he's from Canada. What does that do for you? Uh, Canadians are nice. He's not. So did all of the, <laughs> did all the like shitty like oh south park has a character named scat and he's uh he's a dick uh he's Canadian. he's the canadian dick and so maybe that was norm's position he he just was such an asshole uh, but, yeah. oh man you're right panda warrior looks fucking awful oh yeah yo, 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 yo. so he does the voiceover for panda warrior which I've seen a documentary uh, thing on, and I say documentary lightly, a YouTuber that does like <laughs> these things where he talks about like, you know, shitty fucking remakes and stuff. He's like, no, you guys need to watch this. And it's all, it's, oh God, we might watch it and review it. Oh, oh God. God, Rob Schneider's the panda? Whenever Stephanie comes back, Shut he'll up. make her watch it. And like, that's her assignment. She can come back when she's watched it and wants to review it for us. SpongeBob's in it too. Really? Yeah, he plays someone. It doesn't That's matter. Way too many like famous people. I need to speak to uh, everyone. Rob, Sh- people. Rob Schneider, uh, Norma Donald, and the voice of SpongeBob. They're still famous though. Like, What's his still... name? <sighs> Katie would know. It's not a hard name. I'm gonna say like Justin. <laughs> nope, that's not it. Katie would know. She's I've I met the voice of Squidward with Katie. The opposite of what I <laughs> she's real pumped about. Okay, him. what's the voice of Squidward? Fitzgerald is like his last name. Okay, so uh, not really sure still. No, no, no idea. <laughs> okay, you no know I'm bad with names. So, 
<laughs> Neither one was Phil Lamar, no. That's what I'm saying. Tom Kenny, by the way. Oh, Tom McKinney, that's what his name was. No, just Tom Kenny. Real, real Irish. Not McKinney. Tom oh. Kenny. Oh, yeah, okay. Don't, Not as don't, try to, don't try to act like you knew it, because you're Le- still wrong. After Irish. I told you to you what hey, it was. Hey, hey, hey. It's good, it's good. That's not what this episode's about, Cleve. Get back to Norm. Uh, I... I don't know. It's kind of like, like uh, it reminds me a little bit of like Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase is kind of starting to push people away in attitude. Is that but because I, of his personality and community? I think it's kind of started there, but like I feel like Norm never. He just didn't care. <laughs> he didn't yeah. care what she thought, and I respect that. Maybe. Kind of, a little bit. Kind of like he's like the cleave of the comedy world. Ugh, let's not say that. Um, <laughs> because I, I can appreciate it, but at the same time, I'm like, man, there was just no off switch, was there? You just fucking, just fucking fifty fifty grind down the pipe, huh? Just really throw that fucking down the rail. Yo, he's. Uh, I saw, uh, Tony Hawk. Take on a half pipe the other day, and I'm, I'm my mind was fucking blown. He's like fifty, almost. Sir, please, you are a national treasure. Don't hurt yourself. He collapsed on impact. <laughs> <laughs> fucking turning to dust there's on a, impact. There was another, and now I can't think of the name. And I sent the text to my brother. I was like, "Oh my god, it's so and so is is skating still." And he's like, "Who is that?" I'm like, "That is like Tony Hawk Pro Skater One skater." And anybody that was in that first one should not still be fucking skating. I'm concerned. And he was like competing against these like 12 year old children. So you're just fine. So, you're just fine. I'm to talk about uh, oh Norm. I'm sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I'm um, just kidding. Um, <clears throat> no, I, 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 like I said, I just think it's interesting that once the people pass, yeah, we, we just focus on the good, which I guess, you know, there are certain people we can't say that about, a la um, Hitler. It's just not good when you have to use that as the example, you know? I don't know. Who else is bad that you're like, um, oh, uh, John Wayne Gacy. Is he still alive? I think he's dead now. He's the guy that used to dress up as clowns and then eat people. There's also some fucking prick that works at Marvel. It's just a fucking piece of... But anyway. Oh, uh, Um, Stan Lee? Nope, not Stan Lee. (laughs) Uh, So... I mean, Stanley I, was a great guy. He didn't steal from anybody. Um, Billy Madison, I feel like he didn't have a big enough. Doctor Doolittle, he played Lucky. We mentioned that. Um, Screwed, mentioned that. Uh, he had his own TV show just called Norm. Then, yeah, I think it went like fifty episodes. Was that a season? A dozen. 54. 54. Yeah. I mean, it's one Pretty season. good. Uh, he played Little Chubby, and uh, my name was Earl, which you had to remind me who who the character's name was. But I was like, yeah, son of a bitch, that was him. He wasn't in lot, but he played an asshole. <laughs> like, he was the guy that if you wanted someone to play an asshole, like, he did it. And you know what? Honestly, he just did his, um, who did he play in Jeopardy? Uh, Burt Reynolds. Yeah, he just did his Burt Reynolds impression, like for that character, but a jerk. Um, Does that mean Burt Reynolds is an asshole? I imagine he is. He was in the cast of Friends, and really anybody that played in Friends was. Anyways, that's fair. Uh, He was Death, the Family Guy. For only two episodes, so I don't know if Death came back more and just under a different name, or like he just just happened to only be. I think I just remember, you know, fucking Valley Guy goes with little flashes back and forth. But he was in um, Tyson's uh, Mysteries, all 64 episodes. Is it only 64 episodes? I thought it was someone longer than that. And they're like 15 minutes each. It's like half a day to watch all that. It's like half a day to record all of it. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Save the lines and get the fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I'm curious what people's thoughts. It's not like we knew him directly. I'm not going to say he was 
a bad person. I will say he was an asshole. But, you know, I've been called an asshole. It, it was, it'd take a lot to be considered an actual bad person. You'd right. have to do some heinous things. Right. But, yeah, no, let us know what you guys thought. If, you, if uh, we missed something amazing that Norm did, because I'm sure he sent something. Or you have a, fa- it, you have a if he's favorite, favorite uh, a favorite thing he's done. It's uh, the funniest I, thing. I, I, think I think you're absolutely right. Done. I think him playing fucking Burt Reynolds on the Jeopardy skit is probably the best thing he's ever done. <laughs> Which is sad, but I, it's just I don't think it's sad. I think it was just so good. It was well done. Yeah, he's like his hat. Ha. <laughs> um, that's a big hat, bigger than it should be. It's funny. <laughs> Uh, let us know. I don't know if you think he is an asshole, and just just let us know your thoughts. Anyways, I I, I think I I just want to draw the line on that. I'm not defending him. Yeah, but like you know, may he rest. I guess. Um, if you guys want, you guys can let us know suggestions for episodes you'd like to see. You guys can write down in the comments below. Make sure to hit like and subscribe. If you guys aren't already following us on our other social medias, we have them all. We do them all. We own them all. We're the best. Oh, shit. Uh, we have Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, everywhere you can find a podcast. Just search Friendship Supreme. On Twitter, it is no eyes because all eyes should be on the YouTube channel. If you're not looking at these two cute faces, I don't know why the fuck I wake up and shower every morning. Um, you shower? Yeah, every morning. I know. It's really fucking waste. Anyways, uh, <laughs> if you guys enjoy watching video games, we play video games Tuesdays and Thursdays and Sundays at 9 p.m. Central Time. Uh, we like to play lots of different variety. You guys can come talk to us live and chat with us. But if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to reach out to us. I've been Michael. This is Cleve. Uh, when you die, you don't lose to cancer. When you die, the cancer dies. In my book, that's a draw. That's norm. That's norm. That's literally norm.